Hey tribe, welcome to HDDC, HD Designs Crochet. I'm Heather and I'm 28 from the United Kingdom and this little channel of mine is a bubble filled with creativity and empowerment documenting my journey, making moments and memories. So if you're a returning viewer, hi tribe, welcome back. It's so good to see you here. And if you're brand new, hi, hello and welcome. And thank you so much for joining us all. Few little announcements before we get into the episode proper. First of all, just a quick apology for the huge gap that's been going on with my um, vlogs at the moment. December has been hella busy. Like I've been socializing, hermit life just hasn't happened. And so because of that, the time that I would normally do this, I've been sleeping or just doing normal life admin and I had a bit of a software malfunction. Thank you so much to my father for fixing that. Um, and so I did have a vlog ready to go live and then I couldn't send it out for a week and a bit. So that's just to let you know what's been going on. Um, thank you for everyone that messaged to ask if I was okay. Yeah, I'm okay, just December has been hella busy, but in a good way. Like, I've done some really good things, which I'm about to take you through. And hopefully you've seen Vlogmas Part 1. Though I'm not sure what's going to be in Part 2, because I haven't recorded as much as I should have. Um, but hopefully you've watched that, and you'll have seen the Christmas market, and the lights switch on, and the other bits and pieces I've been doing. Um, and then I finished that vlog off with a coming next and I was in a hobby craft and I'm about to show you what I got up to. Um, my other announcement is a big one. Saturday 29th of December at 9pm GMT, that's London time, I am going to be live. Um, I'm probably going to come on a bit earlier than 9 o'clock just so that I can do the whole testing, testing, make sure my setup's okay. And I know it's a little bit late for some people in the UK and a little bit, basically the timing isn't great for, I know a lot of people would say, oh, it'd be better if you did this time or this time or that time. I'm going to be here from about 8.30, but the official start time is 9pm GMT. Um, I hope you can all join me. I'm like really worried that nobody will be there. But hey, I'm used to talking to myself, right? Um, and then I'm kind of worried that I won't have my setup right, but worrying's pointless. Um, and during that vlog, that live vlog, which means no editing, I am gonna do a question and answer. So that's your chance to ask me anything you want within reason of. Um, so I've had a few questions put in the comments on the last vlog. Um, comment on this one as well if you've got any so that you remind remember them if not then tune in during the time so that I can answer them for you um, yeah I hope you can be there I did announce the times in the different time zones the last time and I can't remember them right now that's really poor isn't it might be in my journal which is too far away so I'll put it on the bottom of the screen um, if you go on to Google and just check what time zone, like you can do a time zone clock, again I'll put the link below, you can put in 9pm GMT, my hands are very, <laughs> you can put 9pm GMT, London time, and then it will tell you what time it is in your time zone, and I really, really hope you can join me. Um, so, podcast, vlog, just realised my candle. I moved it when I was moving the table. Maybe we should put it up here. I just feel like that could be a bit dark. That didn't do anything, did it? Maybe I should have put the lighter yarn in there and the darker yarn at the bottom, but we, we're not going to mess about with it now. We're not. I tried to light that corner up with my fairy lights. I tried to put them across here and it fuzzed out. Now they're sort of lighting that corner. Um, and again, I haven't got my yarn behind me today because I have, I've spent quite a lot of time today, which is the 24th of December. It's Christmas Eve, guys. 
I spent a lot of time today tidying this house and reorganising it and I just feel really zen and so I didn't want to move my yarn from where it's living because it looks pretty. Um, so I've just got this little display behind me instead. I've got my light box which isn't on, it says simplify, my word for 2019. I've got some yarn that I brought there, project bags with my projects in, and behind me here, more yarn, and of course HGDC. I'm totally going to add to that wall as well, I just want to be surrounded by all the quotes. Um, and I've got a little, yeah, I've got some really good ideas for my setup in 2019, including lights. I thought I could get away with it. And although it's better than it was, and maybe when I'm watching this on playback it won't be as dark, I do feel like there's quite a lot of shadows. I can come closer to you. It's not too bad, like if I'm going to show you something, but I just would like a bit more illumination. So, lights are a must. Okay, that's all the announcements done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Let's get into this vlog. This vlog is all about, it's my birthday. So I have a December birthday, whoop whoop. Shout out to all of you guys that also have December birthdays. I feel your pain, I'm with you. Um, it's a little bit, so the things that December birthdays usually moan about is, if we go anywhere for a meal, it's Christmas themed, always. Christmas doesn't start till after my birthday, which is the 16th of December. Um, people always say to you, I can't afford your present because Christmas. My birthday never changes. Christmas never changes. So I don't know why you didn't put some more money aside. Um, and then generally people are really busy because again, Christmas. So yeah, but I did have a really lovely birthday. I found on Instagram that I have a birthday twin. Of course there's loads of people that have the same birthday as me, but we have the same birth year as well. So shout out to Ocean because that is pretty cool. And she doesn't live that far from me either. So hopefully like we might be able to do a meet up because that would be hella cool. Birthday twins, just sitting there knitting and crocheting. Um, and yeah, I, for my birthday, had lots of celebrations. Um, I didn't plan anything myself, just if anybody said, let's do something, I went and did it. So there was quite a, there was a couple of meals, it was three birthday meals um, with various friends and members of family. Um, there was a few little outings, I went out out on a night out um, and my work Christmas party was the night before. So yeah, I had a hella, I had a, a very, um, very sociable, heavy weekend, but it was good fun and I enjoy, I love dressing up, so that was fun as well, having like occasions to dress up for. Um, and then the thing that I said that I really wanted to do was to go yarn shopping because yarn gives me more life and I had some birthday money, which just played into the little visit really, really well. Okay, so I went to Hobbycraft in Nottingham, which is about a 30 minute drive from me. And I took some footage of all of the yarn. So before I put that footage in, we parked up and I was like, yes, yes, let's do this. Like yarn, I'm so excited. I got money, let's do this. And I walked in. And then downstairs you can see like all stationery and nice stuff. And I was like, wow, wow, looking around. And then my eye caught upstairs on like, it kind of looks like a mezzanine balcony but overlooking. Yarn everywhere. And so I ran up them stairs like this and I was just like dancing like, yarn! And yeah, let me put the footage in of what it looks like.
ran up these stairs and then I just stopped dead in front of all this yarn and I'm like, I don't know which aisle to do first. There's so much yarn. Um, so I do what I always have to do, a really quick like loop all the way around, squishing bits as I went, just to get an overview of what was there and how much was there. And then I went back to the start and I took my sweet time and I wandered around and I squished and I oohed and I gathered yarn up and then I put it down. And my friends that I went with were like, are you okay? And I was like, I've got to walk away. I have to walk away from the yarn. And so I took myself downstairs and wandered around the downstairs bit because yarn fever was real. Just, I had this overwhelming urge to just say, open the boot of the car and let's just fill it up. Like I need two of everything and maybe three of that for good measure and about 20 of those. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. <laughs> and I fully would have. And so I made myself walk away from the yarn fumes um, and I wandered around downstairs because I was looking for a journal. I didn't find the journal that I wanted or that I thought I could use but I did get um, some stickers for my mood board for 2019 and I just had a wander around and I picked up, oh my goodness, I've left it upstairs. And as I was wandering around downstairs, I was like, right, I need to think about a project. I don't want to just buy for the sake of it. In the past, I have brought two balls of this, two skeins of that, because I like it and I think I might use it. But I know I'll use it, but I don't know what project I want to make. And that is why my usual yarn tower that is there is so big and it has so many random skeins of yarn in, which is great for all the scrap yarn projects I make. But now I'm doing more of the garment side of life. I wanted a bigger quantity so that I could make something. Um, and so in my head, I was like, right, what is it that I want to make? I've got all of this yarn, what is it that I want to make? And I knew in my head it had to be pink and it had to be glittery. Um, and then as we were wandering downstairs, there was this like pick a mix station, but it wasn't sweets, which would have been cool, but it wasn't sweets, it was beads. So I've got footage of all of the beads as well, which I'm gonna put in now. It's just amazing. I'll show you what I mean. Literally, the song is appropriate for something about this place. <laughs> oh, they've got rose gold ones though. Like, my life's just been made. Make yourself a list. Now you know everything's here. It's probably a good thing not to buy it all on one day. Well, that's dangerous in itself. Pretty sure it's like the same but it's no more than 30 if I remember right. So all these beads and these tubs to put it in, and I squealed like one of my friends, bless her, walked away to carry on wandering around and she said as she was going further and further down the shop she could hear me going Woo! and like making really stupid noises because I was just wow I just loved it and I could pick my own and make my own selection. Do you think that just looks like me? It that is you in a pot. I love it. Oh. One will suffice. <laughs> <laughs> right. So 
I filled up a tub of beads and instantly when I saw all of those beads there I knew that I wanted to make something beaded um, so my inspiration comes from and I can't say her name so I'm just gonna put it on the screen because I'm gonna butcher it but this woman is amazing all of her stuff all of her things is like beaded and scrap and oh just love it um, Lottie and Albert started making a crochet beaded jumper did anybody see that on her vlog um, and there's so many more then the knit the knit HQ master I'm drawing a blank again on names so I'm just gonna put it all on the screen she made a sequin hold to neck so there's just so much embellishment and I love it like embellishment and empowerment just seem to be my jam so jar of beads are you ready for this it's about time I showed you something because we're 15 minutes into this thing are you ready okay take a seat because it's absolutely gorgeous here we go I totally went upstairs to find this and it's just here <laughs> This is my tub of beads. Let me take those ones out for now. I bought them in a little plastic tub and I've put that in the recycle and they're in this glass jar. But, oh my goodness, can we just, oh. Now I feel like the glass is gonna fuzz it out a little bit. I don't wanna drop any, but, Wow, so I filled up the larger tub, which I think cost me like £7.50, which is a bit steep, considering I might even need to go and get more, depending on how heavily I bead this item. But I've wanted to do this for so long. Um, I actually did a beaded swatch, which I can show you just here. Don't know if any of you can remember this, but I did it quite some time ago. It's down here. But there's a beaded swatch on here um, and that was just testing it out what I didn't like about this is the way it's so heavily um, placed grouped together down there it's just too much let's just take it off the board you don't need the whole board do you one thing I do really really love about this board is that that one, that quote says, nevertheless, she persisted. Because I just think when you're designing something, that's so true. Just keep carrying on. And then this rose blush, which I cabled for the first time on that. And that sits against my yarn tower. So, knitted beaded swatch. I don't like how heavily that's grouped together down there. It's too much. I like it better much better prefer it more evenly spread out up here and that's quite good because the more evenly i spread it out the less beads i will need so the less likely i need to go back and get more but then equally i want to go back and get more because then i'll go back and get more yarn oh dear but anyway <laughs> so that is my test um a ham i am a ham i am yet to do a test swatch with crochet but that is my next that's my next mission so let me just show you some of these beads I I've got pictures and I'll put them in now as I'm talking to you this little part like this is me in a tub and I just kept looking at it and ooing and ahhing and the girls I was with I was like I don't know if I've shown you but look at my beads see I don't think I've shown you but just just look at these beads look at them from this angle and this angle oh, isn't it the prettiest thing you've ever seen and they were like I roll yeah we've seen it yeah it is pretty I roll put it down so but I'm just in love with them um so I filled up this tub I totally did it like you would do if you was getting sweets I put the big items in the bottom sprinkled the little ones on top jammed it all in um, I went for basically my colours, which is like blush, pink, rose gold, a very light lilac, um, pops of brighter pink and a couple of a darker bronze colour and then some pearl effects, 
like you're really getting my colour scheme here. It's like this neutral blush, metallic, lush. Ugh. And then there's a couple of greens in there as well, just this bright green, um, which is very Tiana from Princess and the Frog. Then I've got like these, which are rose gold with my huge nails in the way. It's not really helpful, is it? That is rose gold. If I put my face out of the way, will you see it better? Um, probably should have strung them, strung them, st yeah, strung them on something. Then this one is like an irid iridescent lilac-y one. I just feel like you're not getting the full effect of this. <sighs> but anyway, I brought all the beads, hopefully from the pictures you've seen how amazing they are. And then I came home and went through my stash to see what I could add in. And to be honest, there wasn't really anything that I'd got that goes with the colour scheme. This is like a crackle pink one, which I bought from Hobbycraft. Um, I'm totally going to have to string these on something for you next time. Apologies. That's metallic gold. Um, and then I came home and I picked out these darker ones and just uh, just a couple of them. I picked out some pearl effect ones that have gone in there. And then I also picked out the string of pearls that I had in my jewellery box ready to be cut up. And I'm going to mix them into it as well because it's got a really nice sheen to it. They're not white, they're off-white. And they're now living in this jar, though I wish I'd kept the lid because I'm bit paranoid that this is going to get knocked over but me in a jar and so because I had me in a jar I knew that I wanted to make a beaded jumper and I've got in mind exactly how it's going to look oh, I'm so excited for this guys so excited I am working on my leggings and a jumper to go with my Rito um what should have been a jumper but it's now actually materialised as a skirt and then I want to do a matching jumper and then there's going to be this so all of the projects I'm just I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it can you tell um so I got that and I knew that I needed the yarn to really showcase the amazing colours in that little jar so I wanted something quite neutral but I was going to go kind of pink um and so I've picked out the most amazing yarn to go with it. So I've brought these two balls. I hope they're gonna show. Now, this one is Knit Craft Shiny Dancer. It comes in a 50 gram ball and I'll put photos in for you. It's fuzzy, ever so slightly fuzzy. Now it's 50% acrylic and 50% polymer polyamide polyamide and the color is off white shade number 20102 and it's in their fashion range and i wonder if i go this way you can see the light glinting off that like this is really is a shiny dancer um and so it is a very 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 pale blush pink um Sometimes when you get off white they go more yellow with it, but this has gone on like the pink spectrum Which is what I love about it and then to hold with it. I wanted something um, So I'm gonna hold this as if it was kind of like mohair to give it that fuzz and so that the beads really nestle into it and then I wanted something sturdier and so I went with this cotton which is the Women's Institute Soft and Silky, and I say it's cotton, is it cotton? It's 100 grams, and it's 100% microfiber acrylic. It feels quite like a silky cotton. There you go. And again, I will put pictures in, guys, because I know the lighting might be stressing you right now. But it's, um again, it's off-white, but it doesn't do the whole, it's not gone down the yellow, colour scale it's it's um very off-white and so next to this more pinky sheen they actually look amazing so i'm gonna have 
that's that's a pretty good representation and the fairy lights in the background look so cute <laughs> right anyway so we've got oh that's much better it look what am i saying it's we've got this this we've got this so it's a very pale off-white i would say that's almost representative cotton then you've got this which i'm going to use in the place of sort of like a mohair and then you've got my jar of beads i just want to show you this yarn and try and get it in a better light can you see that sheen on the shiny dancer and then next to the silky acrylic just here that so looks like cotton and then with the amazing beads like wow look at all that colour oh, I just love it like you can see the rose gold right down here and then so there's like rose gold and pink lilacs gold and then the pearls just ah oh, love it and then there's actually some green in there honestly that looks oh, I'm just in love I can't even just take these pearls out and just let you see what we're working with oh my goodness can you see where the excitement comes from then I'm shaking sorry but look so you've got like the metallic ones in there the golds the blush rose golds the blush pinks the bright pops of pink oh wow i could just sit and stare at them because they look amazing and then you've got the pearls which are just they're gonna look great all spread out and then the yarn and that light, just like that, that's really accurate. So that is such a pale, pale blush pink. And then you've got the white and with the beads. It's just going to look amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do to make these really, like, I don't want to do all of the front panel and then run out. Well, I kind of do because I want to go back and get more. But I know I'm going to go back more anyway. I don't need to fluff up my project to give myself a reason to go back. Um, I'm going to split this up into f four groups or maybe three groups. Because what I'm thinking is I need, definitely need two groups for front and back. And then I need some for the sleeves. So I might cut it in half and then from that half take out a slither from, for each half. Is this making sense? I'm going to like divide this in half this tub and then say that one half is on the table I'm just going to scoot a few out so that they can go on the sleeves and then the rest can go of that half can go on the front and the same for the back and um, because I want to make sure I've got quite an even amount like they I'm not going to place the same beads in the same place and um, so it's not going to mirror in any way but I just want it to be that there's a nice mix of all the different beads on all of the pieces um, and so I need to do a swatch for that guys this is going to be crocheted um, as like knitting would look amazing but it will take me so so long and crochet is my love and making my crochet leggings has given me so much life and I'm really looking forward to showing you those um, if you're on Patreon I've been putting them little snapshots of them on my um lens so that you can see they're giving me so much life and something is just telling me my whatever's talking to me that spirit is telling me crochet so i want to crochet this um i'm really really looking forward to it so i need to crochet a swatch so that I know what I'm working with and the best way I think what I'm going to do is string all the beads onto this more cottony type one the Women's Institute yarn and then I'm going to crochet that I know exactly what design I want to make but because this yarn is my best yarn I don't I don't want to mess about with it I'm actually going to make a mock 
shaped, I'm going to make a mock of the jumper without the beads in different yarn and that is why there is so much yarn behind me. Um, why am I doing that? Mm, I think for me doing the leggings I have I've not frogged like a huge amount but I have ripped back quite a bit and I'm a bit worried about shiny dancer really fluffing up um becoming too unworkable um and I'm just a little bit I want this jumper to look really really good so I just would like to do a practice um and again it's another reason why I don't really want to knit it because to knit the practice and then the real one will just take forever in a day whereas crochet I can knock that out pretty damn quick um you never know I might end up knitting one anyway because I think it's so interesting to see the differences in the fabric but I'm going to go with crochet as a start so I then in my head I brought this yarn and it's really reasonably pri blah, blah, reasonably priced um, I used some of my birthday money towards it and I actually did have some left over um, and they were on three for two so I got like 400 grams of each I think um, and it's going to be a cropped jumper so I don't need a lot and if I do then I'll just go back and get some more no biggie I really want to go back um, but I decided I'm going to do a practice and I've got the most amazing yarn for it. You want to see? Of course you want to see, that's why you're here. Oh, the tower fell. I got this yarn. Can we see it? It's basically the exact same colour as my blazer that I'm wearing right now. Like, I'm loving this colour. It is going to see me... I like this is going to be my colour of 2019 so let's see if I can show you properly it is a blush very light blush rose pink and it actually has glitter in it so the colourway is pink rosa it's sparkle yarn and it's um knitting essentials and that's from the pound land or pound world I never get it right that is here in the UK it's kind of like the dollar store if you're in America and it's three for two so they're 50 gram balls you buy two balls so two pounds two dollars and you get a third ball free so you get 150 grams for two dollars two pounds which is pretty amazing like a, a hundred gram ball is normally about one pound 89 so to spend two pound get 150 I'm happy with that and they do the sparkles now I feel like it's blowing out a bit Let's go like this and hit that light over there. See, I know it is slightly dark, but that is actually the colour that you're seeing. It is basically this colour. <laughs> um, and it looks so, so pretty. I've taken some pictures of my cubby hole. There we go. I hit that light in. Yes. Sparkle, mama, sparkle. I have picked up 12 balls of this, 600 grams of this yarn, um, yes I know more than what I've bought of the of the of proper yarn, the reason being I want to do a swatch, there will be some frogging and it's three for two so the way it worked because I went and got this yarn in two, two trips, the first time I went I got six, I got 300 grams and I knew I needed more I just knit back today and I've got some more in stock and if I was to buy um, three balls it'd give me another 150 and then I'd have an odd amount so I bought six balls because that makes sense in my life so I will probably have some left over but no biggie because I have got things in mind for it don't you worry I love this colour come on focus I know it doesn't really look like it's focusing, but that really is, from where I'm sitting, really true to the colour. And the glitter is like this iridescent colour, which is so, so nice. So I'm going to do a mock of the jumper that I want to make without the beads in this yarn. And that is going to take place. I'm going to start this. 
I'm going to sketch it out because it's all in my mind and I've got technique ideas in my head. So that's going to go in my bullet journal. But I'm not going to start this until the leggings and the Rito set are done. So for now, this is living in my hutch. And this hutch actually lives in my room. So I get to see it as I walk by. And it just it's so pretty. And again, this pretty much the colour scheme of my room as well. So my room is white um, and then I've got like um, a really, I may as well just put a picture in for you, but there's a lot of like, there's pops of bright pink, there's black, white, and then there's like some metallic accents and yeah, that's definitely the colors I'm feeling right now. It's also the colors of my Christmas tree, so it's all around me. Um, so I bought that yarn you won't now see it for a while, but I just had to show it off because I brought that with my birthday money and with the tiny bit left over of my birthday money, um, I think I actually overspent on my birthday money now, to be honest, because I went back today and bought another, what, four pounds worth. So I might have spent a bit more than what I got for my birthday. Hang on, let me think about this. No, I'm still within. I'm still within. I brought some more of the black. This is what I'm making for using to make my legging set. Now you can see that sparkle. Shake it, mama. I love it. I just love glitter yarn. It is 100% acrylic. Sorry, 97% acrylic, 3% metallic yarn. But it's pretty good quality and it the leggings look fire, so yes. Um, so I'm keeping an eye out to see what other colours come in. They've got a lilac colour, but it isn't really me. Um, I would, I think me this time last year would have just brought it just because it is glitter and that's what I like, but I'm really waiting to find colours and yarns that I really want to work with. I was looking in Wilkinson's and they've got like a, a Aran wheat in a very light coral slash rose blush so I might I was very tempted to buy the last 600 grams of that today or 500 grams and I had to just have a little talk with myself whilst stood staring at this yarn like come on Heather you have got loads and loads of yarn in the yarn tower that's for the knitting machine that you're going to make all these amazing jumpers so I tell myself you have got enough yarn to finish your glitter leggings and a jumper to go with. You've also got that to do the mock beaded jumper and you've got the real stuff to make the beaded jumper. So not only have you got a lot of yarn and loads of projects lined up that's gonna take you a good few months, in the yarn tower there is more yarn for other projects that I've got in mind. So do I really need it? Considering I just spent so much on yarn no, no, but I'm so tempted to go back and get it. Um, but not until the yarn tower has been reduced because the tubs are bursting and I now have yarn in the hutch as well. I'm not gonna lie, I could do with a bit more yarn storage and that's ridiculous. I'm trying to simplify my life, not overcrowd it with yarn. But if I do see it in the next few months, I might just get it and put it by. Maybe, you know, once I've got a couple of these projects done, just in case it's not in stock when I want it, because it is a really nice colour. See what I do? I, I tell you why I'm not going to do this, and I'm like, well, but maybe I'll just get it anyway. Maybe I need to tell the staff at Wilkinson's and the pound shop that if you see me coming with yarn, that I'm just barred. <laughs> So that's all of, that's not all of, that's all of the yarn that I purchased for myself for my birthday. Easy. And then this is the yarn that I got to do the mock with. Oh, wow. The colour on that alone is amazing as well. And can you see the glitter? It is a real, like, mermaid shine, that iridescent, I hope I'm saying that word right. But look. And with that white table behind it, if it's not in shadows, 
that is going to look stunning. Like I'm really excited to do the mock in this yarn because by itself that's going to look amazing anyway. And then the beads is just going to be something a little bit extra, extra, you know, a little something, something. Ah, oh, this here is my colour palette. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to destroy the hutch. I've got the black glitter for the leggings. It's just amazing. It's quite a subtle black, like when you're wearing it, you have, when you shimmy a little bit, then you catch the light. And I imagine that it'll be the same for this, like as you're moving. Oh, okay, I've got to stop making slightly inappropriate noises over yarn and beads and color schemes. But this here on the table, even with like the cardboard, like that, is it called craft paper with the just the I don't even know how to explain it but even with that and there's bits of black that is completely what my mood board 2019 like this is the color scheme <sighs> okay I'm really happy with the colors there and I think you will have seen enough now so Back to me in the podcast tribe. Let's just leave it on a little shot of the beads. Oh my goodness. Um, I was given some yarn. So my boss got me this. It's from... I think it's Marks and Spencers. Yes. Marks and Spencers Knit Your Own Red Slippers. This kit contains the essentials for you to knit your own cosy red slippers with white forks fair pom-poms inside you'll find a simple knitting pattern to follow to make your slippers and then you can make um makes women's size size uk three to eight so if you're in, in the eu hi it's for you size 35 to 42 i think i'm a 37 i'm a four and if you're in the us you're a five to ten i don't know what i am in the us um, and then it's got like the knitting pattern, some needles. Oh, you use 12 mil needles. Whew. Sewing needle, two forks fair pom poms, and 100 grams of red acrylic wool, all within my little kit. And then that's the red yarn, and it's so fluffy, so so fluffy. And I like that with the pattern, that means that I can hit up my stash and make more for other people. Um, because I I truly think, oh look, you can see me <laughs> reflection. I truly think that people would appreciate slippers in my life. So I am really looking forward to cracking that open. It won't be for some time because I'm trying to only have one knitting and one crochet project and then one on the go project. Um, that might become an on the go project once I finish my advent socks, but they're no way near being finished because I need to restart them. But anyway, that's my birthday little yarn, yarny goodness. Um, hobby craft, you were so much fun. I wish there was one in Leicester, but it's probably good for, for me that there's not one in Leicester because I would have a bad day and I would just go into there and just be like, yarn I'm buying you I'm buying every single ball um as I was wandering around there was a metallic black one with like a green a deep mermaid green I'm trying to think what project I would work that into so I can go back and get that <laughs> oh dear I don't need any more yarn but I want all the yarn um and then the beads honestly just picking these beads out it gave me so much life so enjoyable and then after I'd got the beads I went and picked the yarn and my friend that drove was like I'm gonna wait in the car we only had two hours on the car parking which is probably a good thing because I could have sat in there all day all day and just stared at the yarn I also picked up a pattern which I'm gonna grab
I picked up a pattern. It's for Knitcraft by Hobbycraft and it's by Katie Jones and I follow her on Instagram and she's such a yarn crush. Like the things she makes are totally wacky and totally cool. And I just love how like that's her style and she just really goes for it. So I got this. Um, it's called the Miami Memphis Cardigan. It's a cotton blend and it's skill level intermediate. I think the pattern number is 93. Um, and then it's calls for cotton type yarn. It doesn't actually say the weight though. Um, but you're using, what are we using? Uh, 3.5 mil. And I believe this is the baby pattern. There's so many kids in my life that I could make this for. Um, and yeah, they're just so adorable. There's so many different colours with the cotton blend as well. So you've got light pink, red, orange, denim, green, pale blue, lilac, coral yellow, black and white. And she uses all of the colours. Um, so what size does it make? You can go 6 to 12 months up to 2 to 3 years. And I'm totally thinking I need to make one for my niece and a couple of other people, well, a couple of other people's babies, and then I might just try and supersize it for me or see if they actually have my size. I'm not going to lie, I didn't realise this was for children until I just saw sample photographed in 12 to 18 months and I was like, oh damn. But I want to do more patterns from other designers because I want... Um, to see and learn more construction techniques so that'll be good and having it in baby size means it'll be quicker I probably won't use cotton blend yarn though I'll just use random DK that I've got but yeah I am really really excited so that is everything that I got yarn wise for my birthday um, Hobbycraft you were amazing I'm coming back soon I already said to my housemate that I think I'll go back maybe like February or April, either side of Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Um, and in that time, I want to really hit this stash and make it, like, reduce it, make it a bit more acceptable. Like, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having a big stash, but I just want, I want, it, I want to really reduce that down. Um, and... So I've got like one, two, three, four, five big tubs and then a tub of sock yarn and some other stuff. And in my head I kind of see myself having two, maybe three of the big tubs. But then within those big tubs, that yarn being like garment quantity yarn of colours that I know I'll wear and that I can't wait to work with. Like this stuff, you know, like having quantities of like yarn like this for projects earmarked or even if say for example like I went into Wilco's today and I saw that yarn and I think yeah I can really see me wearing that then buying a quantity that I can make something that I'll wear because a lot of the yarn I've got is more for blankets because that's what I always used to make and that's not really where I'm coming from anymore so I really want to get a lot of that used up and then start really um creating a little collection for my new love um i have been thinking about making another blanket but i just honestly don't need one anymore the one thing i miss about making a blanket is just having something mindless to work on um but i don't miss sewing the ends in so i did think about making a christmas blanket but i don't really have Christmas yarn I'd need to get some green I've got red and white so I could definitely make it work so maybe I could make a Christmas blanket but I know that I won't bother doing it until like this time next year I think oh I'd like a Christmas blanket and by then I'd be like Christmas is almost done there's no point 
maybe I should just do that. I've got quite a lot of red and cream, red and white. So maybe a Christmas blanket, Christmas jumper. Maybe I should just carry on making all the Christmas things well into January because January sucks and Christmas makes me quite, I love all the festive lights and all of that. I just noticed my star's wonky on my tree, but I love all the Christmas lights and the anticipation of it all. So maybe I should make a Christmas blanket or cushion so this time next year I can put that out as my Christmas decor. I've got so many things I want to make so yeah basically I'm saying to you a lot of the yarn in my yarn stash is for blankets and I don't feel the need to make them anymore I only use one of my blankets that I've made and that's my granddad's blanket and that lives on my bed Darcy has his crochet blanket so the amount of times he catches his claws in it sometimes I don't think he should have one um, and then I've got like just here, not that you can see, here we go, you see that there, that whole entire console, Ooh, where am I pointing, there, full of blankets that I've made and some of them I haven't even sewn the ends in, okay, uh, one, two, three out of five need the end sewing in. They never come out, I don't use them, I just love them, they look really pretty, I'm not really ready to let them go. I don't need more blankets, what I need is a whole wardrobe of me made items, so that's what I'm going to do. So I want to just say to you, thank you so so much for being here on my little journey, thank you so so much for watching these vlogs and all the comments and all the love and all the likes that you give me. I love 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 doing this um it is definitely one of my highlights of 2018 seeing this tribe grow and i have so so much in store for you all and for myself don't forget and i do this for me i've got so much like i've got patterns and i've got like collections like thoughts of collections and like publications and then i've got wow there's just so much like merchandise i've got patreon that's growing i i'm just loving it and i've already started to set up my journals for next year and i've already started to think of the things i want to work on and i cannot wait to show you all and then i just also really want to say um merry christmas to you all this hopefully has gone up the day after boxing day um so i hope Wherever you are and whoever you is, you've had a really lovely Christmas. Um, don't be fooled by social media, guys. Not everyone has that Instagram perfect so uh, social media friendly Christmas. And even if people are portraying that, you don't know what went on behind that camera. Like, everyone might have smiled for the selfie, but then they might have sat there all day ignoring each other on their phones or in different rooms in the house. You know, like, don't be sucked into that and compare yourself and if Christmas isn't your jam that's fine and I just hope that you manage to have a nice meal and at least see someone that you love and care for and get some crochet or some knitting done so I'm gonna rush off now because I need to get myself to church and I will see you all for the live on Saturday the 29th at 9 p.m. GMT time cannot wait to see you all um until then happy making happy moments and wow i just can't wait to see you all live okay then guys i'm off peace i've just finished recording so i wanted to show you how magical it looks in here I spent all day like having a mad clean up so I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. My tree's propped up and it looks so cute. And there's cards everywhere and all the presents are ready. My Mac doesn't live there. It's just there because I needed it for the podcast. And this is all of the blankets that I'm constantly talking about saying that I can see. So I thought I'd bring you over to have a look. You can go back to my blanket vlog, which is like my most viewed vlog. 
and I tell you the stories behind them all and one viewer actually did comment it's like watching um like reading my journals because each one has a memory and they really do like I know exactly what was going on in my life when I was working on each blanket because you stitch the memories in and they are really infused with so much of my life that's probably why I don't really want to see them go um and then we've got a candle made by one of my friends this is white christmas a picture of darcy my dobby um he looks a lot less gray there partly because his coat has been stripped down and also because he is like what two there or a year old and this is my jar of positivity and um this was made for me by a dear friend and she made it a couple of Christmases ago, but I only dip into it now and then. And when I'm just having a real moment, I go in and I take out a quote. So I'll do one now just because we're here. And so I take one out like this and then I open it up, which I'm trying to do one handed. Should have put it on a tripod. And then I read whatever wisdom has been given to me. So this says, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Thomas Edison. Oh, and that's so true. And I always find that whenever I open them, that they really are ringing true for what I'm thinking and feeling at the time. So, oh, that is a gift that I adore. And I want to make some for other people my candle back and then I've got a load of my cards from my birthday next to all my DVDs heavily um, Disney and some books hidden up there and my star that's wonky I told you it was wonky okay <laughs> fixed it and all the presents down there waiting for everybody tomorrow and then the yarn tower actually lives here and I usually move it when I'm recording um, and it just fits in between that's there is the doors to the conservatory and that's the window out to the garden and it just fits there really really nicely and it's got my swatch board on there with some of some just a few of my swatches and that is the ridiculousness of my tower. And I keep saying I want another tub, but then I'm going to be touching the ceiling. So to be fair though, some of this is projects that either need finishing or scrapping. So maybe that's something to work on clearing. Um, and I have a knitting machine out in the conservatory. So I'm going to get, you see like how this has got random skeins. Obviously the denim's not random, but some of this is random and I want to make um, knitted jumpers with the machine. That's my new tripod. Thank you, Patreons. You purchased that and I love recording on it. It's so much easier now. And then, so normally the string of fairy lights there are across the mantelpiece. Um, I put them up in the corner to record to give some light. And then this hutch lives upstairs in my room. And this is the yarn of my dreams at the moment, literally dreaming about it. So the blush and the black for the legging set and then the new stuff for my knitted jumper from Hobbycraft, plus the beads in a recycled jar. And then up top, we've got these amazing project bags. I cannot thank you enough, Josie. I cannot. They're just amazing. So she's made me these three Harry Potter um, project bags, two of which are here. This one's got the newspaper print and it's absolutely huge. And it's got two projects in there, my granny square jumper and the cow that was to match my mittens. Then there's this one, which was the Deathly Hallows knitted bag. Oh my goodness, I love it. And that has got my um, fluorite socks in and that's where the pom-pom mag usually lives. And then this one I made myself and that's my um, granny square pouch bag and it's got a few vegan badges. I was vegan over the summer um, and I haven't really gone into that with you but I have a lot of allergies. So I've put a few products back in 
um, but I'm it's easy enough to, it's easier to say I am basically vegan but I eat turkey because I can't eat nuts I have a nut allergy so I can't say I'm vegan anymore but there is a real reason why um, I am soy intolerant I'm deathly allergic to nuts and it's just struggling a little bit with protein so turkey's come into my diet yeah. I've still got the badges though but doesn't that look so so cute oh and then that's my HGDC little sign I'm gonna put so much more up on that wall I'm really gonna make it like inspirational and then we've got my simplify light box and um, behind here is the majority of what's left of my book collection and again that's for another day um i used to have a lot the, the the very very bottom magazines um patterns some books and whatnot some folders from uni and just the very last of my book collection because i did swap to a kindle a few years back but they're the books that i don't want to see go Right, that's the little impromptu show around of my living room. I really have to go because I can't be late for church. So I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. I'll speak to you later. Bye guys.